Hi, welcome to my channel Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is an intuitive reading. It's a midweek pick-me-up reading. If this resonates with you, please push like and subscribe and the little notification bell so you'll get notified when more readings come up. I also do live uh, cat wisdom cards and advice from spirit and choose a pile or pick a pile, pick a crystal, um, live on Facebook as well. But at the moment, um, if this doesn't resonate, that's fine. Go and watch some other lovely person. So we've got some guiding cards here from um, lovely Kyle Gray. And we'll uh, read those at the end. I asked Spirit for some guiding messages for where people are at. This may resonate and it may not. But for some of you, you may not realise that you're actually quite gifted and you are receiving psychic messages. So those messages are when um, random messages just pop into your head and you don't really, um, you weren't thinking about the person or something and then suddenly you get a random message that pops into your head. You should always follow these, you should follow your own guidance, that's your intuition and your angel or guides telling you what to do and some of you have been reminiscing and looking back and this is like thinking back to your childhood or thinking back to the past of when you were feeling more secure and more happier because you're covered by the moon card at the moment now the moon card can make people feel quite emotional up or down um, but go with the phase it's going with the phase and so when you're like this just remember everything on underneath the ocean just ticks along life still goes on the same it's a phase you're going through they're telling you to break through any illusions or disillusions that you have about people or situations but also to me this is a great time of creativity you might be having really vivid dreams um, but it's a great time to come up with new ideas and start something new okay I'll put them back in the pack randomly and let's see what else spirit can guide us for the rest of the week please what else do we need to know for the rest of the week have faith keep doing things your way this is a great omen too for partnerships as well you've got the blessings from above they're telling you okay so let's have a guiding message please just be patient whatever you've been waiting for um, You've been, you've done the hard work, you're being guided, you've got love, you've got strength, you're very wise, but to get the balance back in your life you need to be a little bit patient and wait for things to come along that you're waiting for. Okay, thank you. Let's have a um, clarifier please. Can we have a clarifier for the temperance card, a clarifier please. Yes, there's some sort of news you're waiting for, an offer. This is like an offer or an invitation that's coming your way. And be patient till you receive this. And also it's going to, you've got to use your intuition too. You can see he's looking forward. It's going to help you work out what you really want and where you really want to go. And for others, this invitation, you're thinking about whether you want to accept it or an offer. Whether you really want to accept it and follow your own guidance about whether you want to or not. Thank you. Let's have another guiding message. A guiding message. Okay. You're standing there finishing some sort of project you've been working on. You're standing there pausing now thinking, God, all this hard work, is it worth it? Do I really want to keep going on? And you're pausing. But a nine to me is an ending. And covering it is the Queen of... Um, of swords she is wise this is representing where you've done the you've done the hard work you've done the background work now it's time to think about what you really want to do you've got the knowledge it's time to cut through the crap get rid of the negative things in your life because I feel the outcome is going to be something that you've been aiming for and something that you've been wishing for this is like dreams coming true so all of that hard work is going to be worth it you're going to see results from that hard work and you're just about there so don't give up um, follow your your guidance and also be a bit patient and you will get the rewards and dreams coming true with what you really really want so that's great but just remember there's no time in the spirit world so even though I'm saying that this could be happening this week it doesn't matter when you watch this it could happen any time and it may not happen as fast as what you want you may also be dealing with someone else where you work in a partnership. So the partnership, because the faith card came out before as well, partnerships bode well for whoever is going to go into a partnership. This can also mean for others getting in tune with your higher self so that you are a rounded person, getting to know yourself better, being grounded, being in partnership with yourself. Yes, but for others it can be a loving partnership because the 
these two lovely cards are next to it. The um, Two of Cups, which is it can represent meeting a soulmate, and the Ace of Cups, um, a new love relationship. So for some of you, it's love coming in, and for others, it's just aboding well for any sort of partnership. Okay, we'll just ask for one more card. Thank you. So one more guiding card. The Empress. Okay, that's wonderful. That's about. Um, you, people think you're really attractive at the moment this is a very positive happy card this is a creative card whatever you're starting some new venture that you've worked towards this new venture now is going to start happening and it's positive and the outcome is great and so go for it these other cards um, bode well also for something that you might have been starting new uh, you could be working in the caring field or looking after people as well or teaching um, but this is a card of where you're standing your ground people look up to you people respect you and you're going to get the results that you've been wanting some of you though just feel a little bit um, you're holding yourself back some of you not all of you with outdated ideas this is where you've chained yourself down blocked yourself off you're quite happy to shut yourself off but your lovely little soul will let that um, barricade down when you're ready but I'd just say do it as fast as possible let go of past ideas because the planets that used to hold us back for the last eight to ten years move, are moving forward now and this is positive so um, yeah get rid of any old ideas because they're holding you back because you're going to be guided by the star and it's like dreams coming true, wishes fulfilled, things that you've really wanted are going to start happening. Don't forget to always tell your guides and angels, ancestors, whoever you believe in, what your intentions are so they can guide you towards getting the things that you really, really want. Okay, Sacred Self. So the first card that um, flew out for guidance, I'd actually hardly even had to shuffle these, they were so good, they jumped out. So some of you are definitely meant to know this. Isn't she gorgeous? The sacred self, unleash your spirit, express your gifts, dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Don't feel the need to hold back or dampen your spirit. This is a time to celebrate. There is a feeling of dance and joy around you at this time as you fully recognize your splendor. You are a sacred being who defies gravity every day just by being alive and brings a sense of balance and equality to the world. That's gorgeous. And it's sitting next to my lovely new crystal, this um, beautiful aura quartz here. Hope you can see it. It's just beautiful, beautiful. It's actually like a an Arctic um, blue, bluey green colour like you'd imagine down the Arctic where the sea is very, very deep. Okay, the next one, Saint Germain. And he's behind the lovely peacock crystal. Look at this. I hope it comes up, but it's just so gorgeous. Purpley, bluey, definitely all peacock colours. Okay, Saint Germain. Karma releasing. Okay, move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Karma is a spiritual law of cause and effect. We experience many levels of karma. Some we inherit from our family and some from people we keep helping out of problems they keep creating. Saint Germain is here now to clear your energy so that you no longer have the weight of the world or your loved one's world on your shoulders. Be aware that an old pattern is leaving your life and creating space for something more loving to enter. Visualize yourself surrounded by a fiery violet cloak to release all the karma karma you no longer need that is so important that's very important for everybody it's a great lesson it's about learning to say no to when you um, keep helping people who don't learn their lessons it's their life it's their choice um, of how they re uh, how they react to different situations and if you keep saving them or helping them they're not going to learn their lesson Right, some lovely guiding messages too from the Angel Whispers. And the first one was lovely actually. The beauty in nature can be the answer to what you seek, which is where I am now. Reconnect today. I'm out in a lovely park. You are full of love, now share it with another. So that's for some of you looking for love or you've found your love. And the opportunity is there for some of you to find that love too. Don't just think about it, do it. So there's your other guiding message. I think there's a good clear message there. 
you have re released yourself from past karmic debt, you're waiting for these things to happen and it's going to happen very soon and these wonderful things coming forward. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and please push like and subscribe and the little notification bell and also um, I might see you on Facebook. Bye for now and blessings to all of you. Thanks for watching. Bye.